every five minutes. We can have a spot of lunch. <laughs> right. Oh. Ah. The court is now in session. General Sir Anthony Cecil Hogmanay Melchett in the chair. The case before us is that of the Crown versus Captain Edmund Blackadder, the Flanders Pigeon Murderer. I love a fair trial. <laughs> right. Let the trial begin. The charge before us is that the Flanders Pigeon Murderer <laughs> did deliberately, callously, and with beastliness of forethought, murder a lovely, innocent pigeon. <laughs> and disobeyed some orders as well. <laughs> is this true? Perfectly true, sir. I was there. <laughs> Thanks, George. Damn, damn it! Right, counsel for the defence. Get on with it. Oh, right, yes, yes, right. Um, yes, I'd like to call my first witness Captain Darling. <laughs> you wish to call the counsel for the prosecution as a defence witness? That's right. Don't worry, sir, I've got it all under control. <laughs> <clears throat> you are Captain Darling of the general staff. I am. <laughs> Captain, leaving aside the incident in question, would you think of Captain Blackadder as the sort of man who would usually ignore orders? Yes, I would. <laughs> ah, um, are you sure? I, I was rather banking on you saying no, then. <laughs> I'm sure. In fact, I have a list of other orders he's disobeyed, if it would be useful. <laughs> George! Well, Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, thank you, Captain. No further questions. Well done, George. You really had him on the ropes. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry, old man. I have a last and I think you'll find decisive witness. Call Private Baldrick. Call Private Baldrick. <laughs> Deny everything, Baldrick. <laughs> Are you Private Baldrick? No. <laughs> Um, but you are Captain Blackadder's Batman. No! <laughs> Come on, Baldrick, be a bit more helpful. It's me. No, it isn't. <laughs> Sir, I must protest. Quite right. We don't need your kind here, Private. Get out. Now, uh, George, sum up, please. Oh, right, yes. Uh... <laughs> all right. <clears throat> uh, gentlemen. You have heard all the evidence presented before you today, but in the end, it is up to the conscience of your hearts to decide. And I firmly believe that, like me, you will conclude that Captain Blackadder is, in fact, totally and utterly guilty. <laughs> of nothing more... <laughs> ..than trying to do his duty under difficult circumstances. Nonsense! He's a hound and a rotter and he's going to be shot. However, before we proceed to the formality of sentencing the deceased... I mean the defendant... <laughs> I think we'd all rather enjoy hearing the case for the prosecution. Captain Darling, if you please. Sir, my case is very simple. I call my first witness... General Sir Anthony Cecil Hogmanay Melchett. Ah. <laughs> clever, clever! <laughs> General, did you own a lovely, plump, speckly pigeon <laughs> called Speckled Jim, which you hand-reared from a chick and which was your only childhood friend? Yes! Yes, I did. And did Captain Blackadder shoot the aforementioned pigeon? Yes, he did! Can you see Captain Blackadder anywhere in this courtroom? That's him! That's him! That's the man! Ah! No more questions, sir. Excellent, first class. Put the way, come on. I therefore have absolutely no hesitation in announcing that the sentence of this court is that you, Captain Eben Blackadder, be taken from this place and suffer death by shooting tomorrow at dawn. Do you have anything to say? Yes. Could I have an alarm call, please? <laughs>